Welcome back. I'm with Melody. I can't say, I can't abbreviate, I'll get a slap. Anyway, <laughs> let's talk about the Asian music industry. Okay. Does it mean anything to you? Do you know it exists? Of course I know it exists. What do you know about it? Well, see, Trevor Nelson and I, we had a little chat about, like, music, the urban music. Yeah. Have you heard the new term? Bourbon? <laughs> oh, I have heard it. <laughs> see, I know. <laughs> see, she actually knows. You know what? She just killed <laughs> It means brown urban music. Wow. That's the new term. Wow. We've got to differentiate this genre, you know. Wow. That's what I've heard anyway. Wow. I'm actually so. speechless. Right, that is, you know what, that's like okay. top marks. Okay, apart from the bourbon scene, what else do you know? Do you know anything about Bangor? Do you know anything about any, any kind of other? Not really. Like, no? I'm, I'm into... Because you know I'm Middle Eastern, so... Are I'm, you? Yeah, so I'm what? Persian. I know that. I'm so not. I'm into... Yeah, so I'm into like a lot of um, Arabic music. I love Arabic music. A little bit of belly dancing and all that. I like all that stuff. I like it as well. <laughs> I think we all like it. Okay. <laughs> right, yeah, go on. And um, yeah, so like urban music just generally, I love it. One extra stuff is good. Yeah. Um, but yeah. But you don't know much about the other scene and stuff? No, I don't listen to much Bangor music. So we have to stuff. take you to like a Bangor rave, yeah? Okay, cool. Done. Right, if you could be anyone for a week, who would you be and why? <laughs> That's a tough question, you know. That's a tough question. It's not bad. Yeah. See, I'm good. Yeah. Who would you want to be for no, a week? No, you can't. You see, you're good at spinning it. <laughs> you can't spin the bottle back at me. It doesn't work like that. Really? This is your time. Okay, right. Do you want to think about it? Do you know, I have no idea. Okay. We shall get back to it's that one. It's a difficult one, one yeah. Alright. Imagine you're having a dinner party. Okay. You're allowed any four guests okay. at your dinner party, alive or dead. Oh, seriously, these are really tough questions. Well, come on. No, because I'll take Who things would really you have? seriously. Who would I take have to it really seriously. This is serious it. TV. Yeah, no, I have to really think about it. Well, let's think. Okay, cool. Okay. You okay, know okay. Oh, I you know. might have to fast forward and Do you know what? It. I totally know the answer to both of those let's questions. Go. This is someone who I really, really admire. Right. And she is, to me, of what a real woman should be like. All right. And that's Queen Rania of Jordan. Do you know right. of her? She no. is an incredible, look her up. She is just I'm gonna incredible. Google image her. It, Go no, pretty. it's not all about the image. No, it's but about obviously. what the woman is about. But, but she is beautiful. Okay. She is, to me, the most beautiful woman in the world. Not you just, just because said of it's how not she looks. It's not about what, she's what she looks like. And I just told me she's the most beautiful. That's because her personality makes her beautiful. Ah. She is absolutely stunning in every way. All right. I really admire her and I would love to meet her and actually do a joint project with her because she works with young people a lot and she she's just incredible so is that the person that you want to be or is that the person that's coming both to the those. dinner table both all right of those. so she wants to be <laughs> I, her, I love her and that's her on the dinner table yeah. you've got three more guests okay cool. who you got um alive or dead yeah it's a tough one michael jackson yeah, would be interesting every single really person i ever asked that question to says it would michael be interesting jackson. because has it's to fascinating be. has to be yeah so who that's else? two okay um Probably Barack Obama. Okay. Yeah, I think him and I could do some great joint projects. So yeah, we all could. You, all you want to do is worm your way into projects with you know, children it's not about and worming Obama. Your way. It's, it's not about worming your way. There's questions you can ask people. You yeah. could have like Jesus Christ, for example, and, and yeah. ask questions. Mm. You see? It's true, yeah. You see the angle there? All right, yeah. anyway, you've got one more, mm. one more guest. Okay, cool. Um, oh, it's a tough one. If you notice, I don't get invite here right now, but it's, <laughs> it's all right, it's all right. I'll just serve the drinks. It'll probably right. be my grandmother who passed right. away a long time ago. Yeah? So, yeah. Yeah. The Did you actually get to meet her and stuff? Yeah, yeah, when I was little, yeah. So the three of you, yeah? Yeah. All right, there you go. See, that was easy. Cool. Okay, it's a tough one. Tough no, question. That was easy. Next question. Right, Melody. I asked you earlier if you was Lord Sugar, who would you hire, who would you fire? Okay. We're going to take things further now and give you a real position of power. Okay. I'm going to show you some <laughs> videos from the Asian scene as it was, all you've got to do is tell me whether they're hired or fired. Okay, right. Let's Are you do ready? It. I'm ready for it. Are you sure? I should just take a bit more I'm water. You know, let me do that. All right, do yeah. that. All right. Bring it on. If I'm in Essex, they'll call him Diljeet, but it's <laughs> Diljeet. Okay. Let's go. He's back. He's back. He's back. I don't know where he went, but he's back. <laughs> okay. Bill G. Looks angry. Uh, 
Yeah, he's alright, isn't it? It's alright. I'm not a fan of these uh, the big letters. Like it looks a bit. Like you, no, I don't like that. He's the lion from Jaw. Right. And you're the tiger Iranian. Yeah. So, is yeah. It, no? no, I don't know. I'm not feeling that big writing thing. But it's not bad. I think the quality is quite nice. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, the quality is nice. Hold on. Yeah. It's alright. It's turning into that Will I Am sound now. Yeah. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think they spent money on it. Yeah. Uh, I think well, Pringle went out of fashion though, but. Yeah, I think I'm not sure. Are you gonna fire it? No, I don't know. I'm a bit you can't, you can't, in the world of business, you can't. You've got to have he's the Lord neither, Sugar mentality. I've given you the power of Lord Sugar. You can't. You can't take half yeah. steps. You must decide with your heart. No, I will. I just. Um, okay. I think. Okay. Well. He's hired, but it's not a whole wholehearted hire. No, 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 you can't do that, sorry. I can, no, I just if you're gonna hire I'm someone, the boss, you just you're, said I am. But if you're going to hire someone, you can't hire someone out of sympathy. If you hire someone, no, you stand sympathy. next to them and say, you are hired, I think, I'm with you. I think he's got potential to be a full-hearted hired, but for now, I'm sticking with my half-hearted hired, and that's the end of that. So the tri he's on like a trial period? Yeah, he's on a trial period. Three-month trial period. We'll review it in three okay. months. All right, there you Dill go. Jeet. 50-50. Well, I, have a, I have a question for you. Lord Sugar called you a tiger. Elaborate, because to me, that's, that's, I think he's going beyond the rules of business. He's mixing a really? bit of pleasure no, there. Really? No, come I think on. he's mixing a bit of pleasure there. Because yeah. when I call a girl a tiger, I, I don't really, you know, I'm not, yeah. <laughs> anyway. Okay. <laughs> yes. What you do uh, in your hours of joy are, uh, yeah. Yeah, right. Um, but, yeah, so he basically called me a tiger because he said that I'm, um, I don't know, a go-getter, I suppose I am, but... Um, are you, are you kind of all for kind of female empowerment, girl power? I'm not talking about Spice Girls, <laughs> I'm talking about empowerment. Is that kind of what you stand for well, and what you want to be perceived as? Yeah, I mean, it's not so much me trying to be perceived as anything as much as it is me fighting for what I think, you know, is right, but... But, but surely from the TV now, you kind of understand the perception of what you give people is what they yeah. see. So therefore, is that what you want to kind of induce in, into people kind of that empowerment mm, from like yeah, a female I think so. I mean, I've, I've received a lot of emails from women who are sort of saying to me that you know they want to be stronger in the workplace but perhaps don't know really how and I think that if women are don't, don't you think if women are really really strong it's they're being aggressive if, women, if men are really strong it's like well done you know it's a bit like that and, uh, and it's like you know and depends I think there's ways of being strong though yeah because oh, like if there's ways yeah. of just being a right Pardon my language. Yeah, there is, you I know, think so. I think you're right. There's ways to talk to people in certain ways, and I and I Definitely, think I think if yeah. you're going to be a, a boss power, a woman of power, there's way to entice yeah. people into yeah, doing what it is. Yeah, there's a difference between strong and and being a. a Though, but, there um, you go. But yeah, no, I definitely think so. But I think man or woman, you know, you should be able to speak up for yourself, especially against bullies. You know, you should have the strength to do that. Bullies. Yeah. Why do you just go to bullies? Is that is that is that something personal to, to you or? No, because you know, a lot of things on the show, particularly, you get challenged, and in life you're going to get challenged, and there's going to be people who tell you you can't do certain things, and there's going to be people who tell you you're not good enough, mm. and it's about believing in yourself and and just being confident in your own abilities, you know, and standing up for yourself. Right, this next artist is called 5RB. Right. Check it out. He's got a nice haircut. <laughs> I was is just that, thinking, what is going on there? Is that kind of something you like in a man, like, no? No. It's kind of, he was walking no, down the street. No, definitely he not. He wouldn't ring your bells. No? no, no. <laughs> no? What is he wearing? No, I'm not, I'm not feeling this, but I like the music, again. The music's not, not bad. What about his, like, no? Are you feeling that whole auto tune? Isn't this a garage tune? I can't hear it very well. Uh, are you not, you've been mean. not feeling his auto tune? I no. need to see more of this one. I haven't decided yet. I'm going to play it. He's got that seat now. Are you feeling it? What is he doing filming that he's girl? He's filming that girl, he's getting... He's doing, he's getting I feel a little bit like I shouldn't be It's the tiger in her, this. it's the tiger in her. Yeah, let me tell you, that's a very different tiger oh. to the one I was described. <laughs> Say no more. You've got it very is a bit garage isn't it? You're it right. Is, it, is. it is, it's a that, bit of a um, garage sort of music in the microphone. It's that Y-Tribe tune, I know that. But 
Yeah. yeah, what do you think? He's got his pads on I and all that. Like He's got his pads on, ready to get into the bedroom in case it gets all carpet burnished. I think it seems that way anyway. I don't know. But anyway, let's go back to the video. What do you think? <laughs> What? It's true though, look he's got the pads on, why would you have the pads on? Listen, the pads are up here. Yeah, but, in, yeah, but no in case, she, in case like... she gets flung around, I don't know, I don't know, just in case. Okay, Safety right, first. Yeah, let's, yeah. Get, let's get back to the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's, so, let's, uh, let's. So, is he, uh, is, is he hired or fired? Fired. He's fired. It's, it's not me, it's her. <laughs> right. Tom won The Apprentice. Mm -hmm. I think for the first time in my entire life, I've seen a good guy come first. Yeah. So, fantastic. If you was on Alan Sugar's right or left, wherever the girl sits, who would you have kept in and who would you have fired? Well, I would think it have gone the way you planned, obviously taking yourself out yeah, of it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good question. Uh, well, Karen and Nick, who sit on his left and right, they, they have an input, but Lord Sugar makes that final decision. Okay. And until he points that finger, nobody knows who's going to get fired. So. If Lord Sugar is going to run a business with someone, ultimately he's the one who has to be happy with it. So only you know the man himself can say who should have won. Oh, right. But having said that, I was supporting Susie to win. You know she's the same age as a lot of the young people I work with. 21 years old, runs a business. She's, she's driven and she's an amazing person. I like her. She's but, a good friend of mine. Okay, so would you have let her? Would you have made her win because you like her, or would? She, w in terms, of a, in terms of a business sense, would she's she have talented. made the best number yeah. one? I, I like her a lot. I think Tom will do great though. I think you know he's an inventor, he's got this product, you know, but him and Lord Sugar will run a good business. Apprentice I think. is not the Dragon's Den. Yeah. So I don't get it. Yeah, but ultimately when it comes to choosing a business partner and the, and the funding, you have to prove yourself yeah. you know, to a panel. And yeah, there are similar, similarities I suppose, but um, if the Apprentice. So why do you think you were given the finger? That's for Lord Sugar to, no, to no, say, No, I'm asking really. you why you think you were... It was a tough one. It was a really emotional boardroom. Like, you see my face, like, when he says you're fired, like, oh... What do you feel like, like crying? Yeah, I think I did cry, you know. Did you I was that, really did, upset. Did, I wanted it. Didn't you feel like jumping over the table saying, you no, no way. No, just inside, in your heart. Listen, Obviously I don't you can't. want to punch anyone. I don't want to call anyone anything. Uh, right. it's just, let's make that clear yeah, now. Yeah, no, fair enough. But yeah, no, I mean, it was one of those things. But it, yeah, he, he was in a dilemma. Like, he's, he's, he actually says the word dilemma. And it was a, it was a tough boardroom. But so I was project manager. You know, the other team, in a way, should have lost. You know, they didn't reinvest. But then it softened the blow a little bit, because when he fired me, you know, he, he did so with regret. And once I left the room, he said something like, you know, she's a woman with exceptional uh, uh, exceptional ability, which is uh, extremely like, amazing coming from someone like him. So softened the blow, but it was tough. Are you allowed to contact him now and say, listen, Alan, I've got a plan for you? <laughs> or is it not allowed? Can, um, you, can you not just... Our paths Contra cross, but um, not, you're not quite allowed like to that. Just no. Pitch, pitch, <laughs> pitch business because the show's over. Are you actually allowed to do that now or not? Well, I suppose I could do. I suppose there I you could. Go. But uh, but you know he, he's a busy man. You know, and he's got Tom. Forget so. Tom. We don't care about <laughs> Tom on this show. Tom's not on this show. We care about <laughs> Melody right now. <laughs> right. Final video. Yeah. Okay. Some would say that you saved the best to a last, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. Artist called Shizio. Okay. Right. This is with Dave Courtney, I don't know if you know about Dave Courtney. All right, let's go. He's like a famous gangster. Right. It just takes a while to get started. Hello? It's very aggressive, you picked the wrong video, I think, but hey, it's not really a feminine kind of tune. Okay. But what do you think? Storyline, look, it's like an instant attraction right now. It's dragging you in. Uh, yeah, I like it. I like storyline and music videos, definitely. It makes it interesting. It's a good video. Like, it's good quality. It hasn't started yeah, yet. It's nice. It hasn't started yet. But it's interesting already, and that's a good thing. I don't know why they're picking up guns, so I think that's just stupid. It's not very clever, is it? No, it's not yeah. clever at all. No, that's ridiculous. Yeah. It's oh. very hip-hop. Yeah. What do you think? I like the beats. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Knuckle dusters on your gate, eh? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Where this is, this is, yeah, hardcore hip hop. Obviously. Yeah. 
because the guy looks a bit hardcore to me as well. I don't know about you, but he looks a bit hardcore to me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I personally think if I saw him, I wouldn't even want to mess with him personally, but I think he's just acting as well, personally. Yeah. I think he sleeps with a teddy at night, personally. <laughs> But yeah. A gun this side, a teddy this side. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> right, what do you think? I like it. I think, as I said before, I just have a lot of respect for people who do something new. And mm. to take something, you know, like, like what he's doing and taking it into hip-hop. And that is hardcore hip-hop, you know, the, the beat is very hip-hop. So, mm. I like it. I've got respect for, for the guy for doing something new and that's good. It's good because the competition is stiff on hip-hop, so it's not bad. What? Not bad, I don't like guns, but but the beat's good. What is it, hired or fired? Hired. Hired. She's your well done, you're hired. <laughs> right, Melody, thank you so much. It's been my pleasure. Closing down statement, how can people get in touch with you? I'm not talking about I'm flipping dating websites or anything like that. Oh. See, oh, look, the phone's <laughs> ringing already. It's ringing already. <laughs> you can't get in touch with her because of the reasons. No, sorry. Okay. Yes. Oh. <laughs> right. Yeah, so um, the best thing is to do, if you want to find out anything more about what we do or about me, is go on melodyhussaini.com um, and uh, follow me on Twitter. I'm a keen Twitterer. And uh, yeah. yeah, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, all that stuff. And, uh, Who yeah, are you following on Twitter? Queen Rania of Jordan. Oh God, you and, you, <laughs> you and this queen. Right, who else? Who's the king? What do you mean? Who's the king? Her husband, Hamid. Obviously, her yeah. husband. <laughs> right, and who else are you uh, following? Plenty of people. Check it out on Twitter. All right, say yeah. no more. Melody. Thank you very much. It's been great. Sagas continue.